Now, um, I remember the first time I um, swallowed a fly. I don't know why I swallowed a fly. Well, I was blowing out the candles on my birthday soup. Birthday soup, it should have been a cake. It wasn't, it wasn't a cake. And we were too poor. Mum just made do with floating some tea lights on a can of chicken and mushroom. Um, basically, I was, I was taking deep breath to blow out the candles and I sucked in a blue bottle. I sucked down a blue bottle. I sucked off a blue bottle. I was young and I needed the money. Uh, but to be honest, I needed the uh, experience. I needed the practice more than anything. And uh, mother said to me, "Will you swallow the bird? Uh, swallow the fly? How absurd! You better swallow a bird." Um, and I said, "Why?" And she said, "Will you swallow the fly?" I said, "I don't know why." She said, "Well, you were taking in a deep breath to blow out the candles." So I, sw- I tried to swallow a bird. She gave me a canary, small. We had a canary, and it, it well, it didn't fit. I mean, it did, but it was flapping and cheeping. It wouldn't go down. I couldn't swallow it. I had to take down the vet to sedate it. I had to, but well, if you try taking a canary down the vet when it's healthy, getting them to sedate it, I had to make up an excuse. I said, "This canary's." Hysterical. Yeah, well, it's got panic attacks. It thinks it's a starling, and uh, it thinks it's starling. It, but it's put on some jack boots, and it's um. Anyway, he said, "Look," um, and I said, "Well, just give it a shot." And he gave it two shots. He gave it a gin and tonic. I said, "Is that a double?" And he said, "Yes." I said, "Well, you know, are you trying to get it drunk?" Or oh, I, I said, "Sedate it, seduce it." Um. He, anyway, even half pissed. It was very difficult to swallow. Uh, others got stuck in my gusset, gullet and in my gusset well I had a spare canary uh, tucked into my trousers uh, I didn't need it in the end so I let it go but, well I tried to let it go I undid my flies I said fly little fella and it wouldn't go it just it just sat there like it was nailed to the spot and uh, well well it wasn't it was nailed to the spot it, it wasn't nailed to the spot I just tied it down with sellotape but well you can't nail it to canary because they don't have fingers um, and uh, well, they, they, and anyway the point is even if they did their fingers I don't know why you'd nail it uh, still I recommend sellotape basically it wouldn't leave and the point of, I mean, they reckon, what they reckon happened is it was so happy with life in my trousers. It got, it got used to it, basically, and it didn't know anything better. And when, when it was confronted with freedom, it, it didn't know what to do. And he built a nest in the eggs. So we had to go down the vet again. And, well, this time the vet asked a lot of, like, why, why have you got a canary sellotape to your trousers? And I said to him, well, perhaps if you'd laid eggs in my pants, you'd want to see And uh, he, well, he didn't know what to say to that. Um, so I, you know, I, I unzipped my flyers and I said, uh, "Take a look at that doc." And uh, and it, well, he said to me, "That's that's not a canary, and those aren't eggs." And uh, and I looked down and realised I'd made a mistake. I made a very big mistake. Not a big mistake. I mean, it was cold. But uh, well, by then it was too late. He'd already called the police. Social services were contacted, and. Um, the canary was taken into care. I was released back into the wild. Uh, years later, I, well, I, I burped up the original canary, and uh, eventually, uh, well, the fly was, was lost. But event- eventually, me, uh, I married the canary. Uh, it was a secular ceremony, obviously. Well, it was a circular ceremony, actually. The vicar insisted on marrying us in the round. Um, I don't know why. Well, he was afraid of corners. He'd been backed into one as a child. <laughs>